My name is Dr. Gulam Bahadur, clinical andrologist. And I'm also an ex virologist and immunologist uh, with very significant uh, publications in cell. And I'd like you to, in this unprecedented time, I've taken the opportunity to look at COVID and the male factor. Unfortunately, males are the worst affected. The mortality rates in males is two to one. Now, what is it that we want to know in terms of male factor for our fertility clinics is how they may be affected. Now, one of the, the focus has uh, been on semen quality, whether there's virus in the semen, whether there's virus in the testicular tissue, and in order to, uh, why that interest has so rapidly focused on it is because there's a presence of angiotensin converting enzyme to ACE2 uh, that is prevalent in both uh, the testicular tissue uh, and uh, in the lungs and where, where the virus is found. The question is, uh, if it were found to be the case, would it be transmissible? Which is a very stupid question in a way, because the transmissibility is really through just social closeness, the, the closeness of contact. But still, from the academic point of view, we want to know if it exists. As far as semen quality is concerned, it's bound to decline for two reasons. One, there's a high fever. And secondly, because there's stress. And you have heard from my other talks what stress does. Now the data that I've analyzed so far, they lock, lack controls completely and there's a problem of interpretation. Most of the cases, and I have to emphasize this, most of the cases are derived from very mildly infected males. And when did they do the test? Some several weeks after the test. So you don't do that. You have to do it very at the point when the, uh, the individual is infected. And a lot of the papers that are appearing are appearing on an unpeer reviewed platform uh, grabbing media headlines. And if I were to ask our virologists, uh, the, sorry, our immunologists, uh, uh, not immunologists, but our embryologists here, they all seem to tell me, you know what, they have found no evidence of viral shedding in semen. I think that's entirely uh, incorrect, purely because the kind of reports that are coming out are, are not in the peer-reviewed domain. And the only one that, are, that has appeared on the peer-reviewed domain, uh, <coughs> excuse me, has been due to very mildly infected individuals uh, tested very several weeks after. There was one case where the report, uh, the presence, uh, they investigated the testicular tissue, but this was from a 67-year-old man um, uh, who had died. So I would uh, urge extra caution in interpreting this data. The current position is we don't know. Now, in this current climate, I can only wish you to keep safe. Thank you.